that's my advice for the weekend to go rock hunting. <laughs> The plan is working, the plan is coming together. Hello guys, welcome back to my allotment diaries. My name's Emma, these are my allotment diaries. I'm currently walking up towards my allotment plot now. I did not feel like coming here today. I woke up and it was grey, it's a little bit foggy, like misty out, um, it's a little bit cold just didn't feel like it at all but on those days I know those are the most important days to get here because I'm feeling a bit flat and a little bit like disheartened I know that coming out will do me good so these are the days where I try and get out here the most you know I read somewhere that February was like the dullest month on record it's like the month with the least amount of sun and so far it seems that March is going that way too and I really hope it's not but I can't see any sunshine on the weather forecast in the next couple of weeks and it's just breaking my little heart to be honest. I need some sun. I need some sun to feel better. My mood has just been absolutely flat for the past few weeks and I think it's because of a lack of sun to be honest. No matter how much I'm outside, just not getting that hit of vitamin D, you know? Right, this is what I came to see. Do you reckon if I took a rake to that, I could get a wheelbarrow full of wood chip? I know it's empty and there's nothing there and this is absolute madness but yeah. you see what I mean I could sort of kick it I could sort of rake it all up I could kick it or I could rake it I think raking is probably more sensible isn't it all right okay I'll go back and get my rake and my wheelbarrow and I'll give it a go I'll see how much I can uh, gather up I might be able to get at least half a wheelbarrow full. I just want to do something like strenuous. I want to do a little bit of exercise. I think it might boost my mood a little bit to do a bit of physical manual labour, you know? So we'll do that. Right, I'm not sure if I'm really going to get anything much. <laughs> oh, there's the positive attitude we all need today, Emma. Come on. I slap myself sometimes. I know you're feeling flat, but come on, positivity. We might get something. There we go. It's about as positive as I can muster. Right, I'm going to balance you on a tree. Right, come on, positivity. We can do this. going really really well whoever messaged me and told me to bring a rake here and just rake up the the floor of it just thank you because undoubtedly it was one of you uh, messaging me there's no way I would have come up with this on my own and it's actually working so thank you thank you thank you I think I'm gonna get a full wheelbarrow I think I'm gonna do it who's this then oh he's not as friendly as Rocky he's not Rocky you're not Rocky who are you there's so many cats here on the allotment plot but that one's not Rocky I don't know where Rocky is so many questions about Rocky where's Rocky what's Rocky up to where is he I haven't seen him I haven't seen him either I think maybe it's been the weather he doesn't like the weather and stuff and he's just not come down I'm sure when it gets warmer he'll probably be back I don't know the business of cats you know right I've got to decide where to dump it now you can see all these bare bare plastic bits this is all needs wood chipping basically a lot of it has been wood chips you can see I did quite a big section in the middle and that took about five or six wheelbarrow fulls and I've only got one and I can't get any more I think we'll do around the pumpkin archway as much as we can we'll probably just get that bit and that bit done and that that'll be it but you know hopefully hopefully another wood chip delivery will be imminent because we are in spring now and they do tend to kind of 
Well, I don't know, I thought it was autumn that they did all the tree felling, but I think they, they do it all around the year really. Usually we get a couple of loads in uh, in the springtime, fingers crossed, eh? That's all we got done. But it's a bit more than what we had done yesterday, so you know, little bits, I guess. All I need is I probably need like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Just about nineteen more wheelbarrow falls to go, I reckon. <laughs> and that'd be the first layer on. And then I've got to keep topping it up, but you know. It's a big plot, isn't it? The pathways do make a difference. I don't know if you noticed, but we had quite a lot of rain in the UK. Last week, I think it was last week, we had a lot of rain. A lot of people's plots completely flooded. This area here was the area that flooded the first time we had rain and I had nothing in place here. No pathway, no beds, no nothing. I don't know if you remember from a few vlogs back, but this was completely like flooded and it was a bog and all that was flooded, but this time, absolutely no flooding at all because I've got the pathway in place, I've got the ground sheets, got the ground sheets in, got the wood chip, got the beds in so there was no flooding at all around here which was just fantastic. So the plan is working, the plan is coming together. I can hear Einstein. Hi Einstein. Oh my gosh, did you see that? Did I get that on camera? He nearly landed on me. Cheeky little sausage nearly landed on my shoulder. I think I would have had a heart attack. I think I would have actually just died on the spot. <laughs> There's another one. Oh, there's both of you. Both of you are here, they're surrounding me. They want their food. Right, hang on. I just watched my footage back and I didn't get it on camera. Basically, he flew right over my shoulder and fluttered in my ear as if he was gonna land and then he changed his mind. A bit like when those planes come to land and then they change their minds and go back up again. Really creepy. Right, let's feed him. He seems irritated with me. In there for. <laughs> there he is. I think I find it hard on days like today because I didn't have like a plan of things to do. Like I think it's too early. I think it's too early to get the potatoes and dahlias out and stuff. I've got my dahlias delivered yesterday but I think it's too early to put them out. So I'm sort of in this in-between stage and I'm not entirely sure what to do but I know that there's a lot to do still. Do you know what I mean? There's a lot to do but I don't know what to do. Um, I think I'm going to spend the next 10 minutes going around the plot and just tidying up, sorting things out. I've collected loads of rocks that need to go to the, um, the pond and stuff like that, so I'm just going to do that for a bit. Yeah. now which is really nice actually I think I really needed to see the sun today I've just been doing bits and bobs really just sort of clearing the wildlife area sorting out a few bits of the pathway and stuff like that little tiny insignificant jobs that 
I normally don't get around to doing because I'm doing the big jobs. So I think on days where you don't know what to do, it's good to focus on the little things, just nitpicky things. This will be the wildlife area. I think things are already living in here. There's loads of bugs in there. So I'm going to leave it where it is and try and fill it in with some stuff. Um, but that's the wildlife area there, looking very nice. Cleared a bit around the the tree as well which is good um, I think the tree is going to be happier now without all the spindly things I've got a few more to clear but I think it's looking it's looking a bit happier you know and this bit here is looking cleared and I found this which I thought might make the quite a good like back bit for a bench um, but this whole area here looks a lot clearer now we've got the log pile the pond the wildlife area is looking really good actually I'm very impressed with it are you impressed Einstein I think he is he's been hovering around me today yeah. I have never ever ever brought anything other than pond plants. I've never brought anything for my wildlife pond. Every single rock around it is something that I found on the allotment plot. Even the lining for the pond was something that I dug up on the allotment plot, on the original plot, or I found or something. And I just used it as a pond liner. I don't think it even is a pond liner, but it's done the job. But all the rocks, just what I found around my, uh, my plot. It's amazing how many rocks you can find when you look for them. You should go rock hunting. It's my advice for the weekend, to go rock hunting. <laughs> what am I saying? is really waking up now all the plants are growing really well I've got all of the spring bulbs around it coming up it's looking really quite quite nice quite put together I think I was it last year that I took all the stuff out and started again I think it was I think it was definitely worth doing yeah it's, it's looking it's looking nice really really waking up now like when I'm looking around I'm seeing everything growing it's so nice and that sun coming out is so warm and lovely it just makes me think of summer and spring and it's like it's here and we're actually planting stuff and it's just it's just amazing I'm not feeling good guys I just feel so flat at the moment and I, I sort of came here trying to sort of perk myself up but actually I think it's okay just to allow yourself to feel a bit flat sometimes and actually it's not it's not the end of the world it's okay to feel a little bit I don't know just not yourself and stuff so I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go for a long walk what I need to do is walk and um, because I can't find any more jobs to do here I, f I feel like I'd be forcing it anyway I will see you again hopefully fingers crossed on Friday I should have a few more jobs to do by then um, and hopefully we'll sort out the wildlife area a bit more I think that's where I want my focus to be because I'm just really really ridiculously proud of it right now <laughs> I'll see you again hopefully on Friday have a lovely rest of your gardening week see you then bye